Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing really well. It's Tuesday evening. It feels like we're on Thursday already. I've only been at work two days and it, it already feels like it's a Thursday. So it's time for a beer review. Time for a beer review to chill out and get out of that work kind of thought process. So tonight's beer we're going to be looking at is a smoked beer. And I've only done one other smoked beer on my channel, which was the Mad Squirrel Smolder Smoked Lager. And for me, that tasted like licking an ashtray from the pubs in the 90s with little bits of bacon in it. And the only other smoked beer I've had is this from Tring Brewery called Shonks Beach Smoked Pale, which was actually really, really nice. And I'm glad I've got another bottle of that as well. So yeah, my actual <laughs> knowledge of smoked lagers is quite poor. So at the weekend, I was in a beer shop uh, not far from me in St Albans and I was talking to them saying I'd like to get into more sort of German beers and they asked if I like smoked lagers or smoked beers and I said my knowledge is small but I'm open to suggestions. So they recommend, recommended this beast and that this is called the Echt Schlenkerler Rauschbier Erbock from the Brewery of Bamberg. So it is a smoked beer, um, funky looking bottle. I did do some research on this I did go on the internet and read a bit about them. I read so much about them, I've actually forgotten most of it. I'm rubbish at retaining information when I read it off the internet. Uh, but it's certainly worth looking up, it's certainly steeped with an awful lot of history. So let's crack on and let's get her out. Let's get her in a glass, see how she looks, see how she sniffs and see how she tastes. Definitely looking forward to this one. So like I said, it's a smoked Urbok. And this comes in at 6.5% in a 500ml bottle. Uh, I, I don't have any German beer glasses or whatever, so I'm going to put it in this tankard so we can get it all in so we can all see it. One thing I did read was it's aged in rock caverns, which sounded quite interesting. And that there is a lot of history and a lot of story behind these beers. Definitely worth a read. So, oh, there she goes. Let's put that one there. I'll put that there for you. So there it is in the glass. Oh, look at that lovely dark, dark, dark colour. It's see-through near the bottom, but proper dark brown, isn't it? Really, really dark with a, a lovely head on there. Lovely, quite dense head on there. It's soft white. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks like a, a good beer, that does, doesn't it? So let's see how she sniffs. Oh, oh that's cheeky. Oh, that smoke is immense. And I don't mean immense as intense. It's just a fan... So, oh, I've got my wire caught up there. Um, yes, yeah, immense as in... It's just an incredible, incredible aroma. Oh. oh, that is incredible. I mean, those two smoked beers, one I didn't like, the other one, that one, I did really like. And that's beach smoked, that one. And I understand the barley and the malts in this are smoked over beach. But the smell on there, and it's meaty, <laughs> it's meaty. <laughs> Oh, that smells amazing. It's just, it's reminding me of, of pork. <laughs> oh, and it's reminding me of pork that I'm into barbecue foods. I do a lot of barbecue cooking and I'm going to do some barbecue videos. Um, and I've got a lovely bell tent and my bell tent's got a wood burning stove and wood burning oven in it. And I do a lot of smoking. I certainly do a lot in the summer. And the, the aromas that are coming there are just taking me back to those wonderful times in the summer when I was cooking things like whole bellies of pork, uh, smoking whole bellies of pork, doing whole pulled pork joints uh, and smoking them, using coals, I never use gas barbecues, and using coals and using wood chunks and using things like beech and apple woods. And that's just reminding me of that so much. It's just so smoky. So woody with this it's almost a, a fruity element coming through, a sweet sort of fruity element. Oh, that smells amazing. 
I'm going to I'm going to get my taste buds involved. I'm going to have a go. Cheers everybody. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's some serious fucking sorcery going on in that glass. Oh, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. There is this slight bitterness at the back. The, the smokiness is incredible. It delivers that smokiness in such a way. It's drying my mouth out. It's making me in a good way and it's making me want to go back for more. <laughs> Pardon me. Good carbonation. And it's got those dark sort of beer feel to it. It's got a sweetness to it, but not like eating sweets. It's got like a candied sweetness to it. And it's got that, that, that meatiness to it. It's got that pork meatiness. And it's got like prunes and figs type sweetness going on that feel like they've just been dusted <laughs> in caramelized brown sugar. You can't dust anything with caramelized brown sugar. Caramelized sugar poured over it. And there's, there's a, a roasty maltiness to it that's making it a bit like toast. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, that is so good. That is so, so good. That smokiness is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The way it works, there's layers. There's layers going on in the mouth. You've got like this roasty malt toast sort of flavor first then there's that meaty pork <laughs> smoked decent smoked pork but almost like and not just smoked pork if there's if you've ever could done brisket and done burnt ends with beef brisket it's got that kind of element to it as well then it finishes with another layer of that roasty maltiness smoked maltiness that makes it Oh, it just makes it so good. And the, the, there's that sweetness from, you're getting like the prunes and the figginess with that sweetness, that almost, and a little bit of spiciness now as well. It's almost, <laughs> oh, it's so good. I can't explain it enough. Um, it's almost like browns, like a brown sauce. Molasses, a brown sauce. It's a fucking bacon sandwich with brown sauce is what it is. Oh, and it does it so well. That is an incredible fucking beer. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go out on a limb. That's the best beer I've ever drink. Ever drink? Best beer I've ever drunk. That is incredible. Um, and this is the only the third ever smoked beer I've had. That I have reviewed that. And I had issues with it. This from Tring Brewery. Very good for a smoked. Very good. But this is just a whole nother level. Absolutely whole nother level. If you're into football, Premier League, this one, Championship, League Two. That is incredible. That is just an absolutely incredible beer. And I know this video is going on for a while. I can't remember how much I paid for it, and it was only Saturday that I got it. I think we're in the 650 region, £6.50 region. And I'm going back to the beer shop in St Albans and seeing if they've got any more, and I'm getting more. It is just literally is the best beer I've ever had. The way that's constructed, the way that works, the way the layers work, the way it leaves your mouth feeling, 
absolutely outstanding absolutely outstanding it really is in its simplest terms it's high quality <laughs> smoked bacon in a toasted sandwich with brown sauce now that might sound really cheap but it isn't when you taste it and you'll understand it's just incredible the figginess prune like with almost candied sugar the roastiness of the malts and the smokiness of it all it's just unreal I'm, I'm lost for words and it's not very often I'm lost for words especially when it comes to beer but that is absolutely incredible would I recommend it oh god yes I don't know how easy that is to get but I would search for it and I'd find it beer shop in St Albans they are online they are literally called the beer shop um, fantastic absolutely fantastic I'm gonna buy some more I've got to if they've got any more I've got to I've got to get more of this I'm done I'm going I'm gonna go and kick back sit there smiling at this beer slowly finishing it because it's just so good I uh, hope you enjoyed the review if you did give it a like um, feel free to leave any comments let me know what you think of smoked beers um, I'd love to know uh, if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and I'm all done I'll see you on the next one take care everybody bye now